Ah, uh, well, the, the top, probably the top five in the three-year-old class, uh, really outstanding cows. When I walk into a yard, when I'm either in the show ring, whenever I'm judging, you want a cow that has the wow factor, a cow that just sort of almost slaps you across the face and says, just look at me, I'm here today, I'm in form, get me to the top of the line. And I really feel certainly my top four cows all have that every day that I saw them. And, and I, I'm not going to lie, I did play around with the placings a little bit uh, in my top four from the three-year-olds. But I'm really happy with the way that I've placed them down. And to lead off the class with this first place cow, really an out, absolutely outstanding individual cow that just oozes dairiness. She just has that uh, beautiful, clean, flat, silky dairy bone. She's so extremely balanced. When she walks along and carries herself, she just walks around her udder extremely well, walks through her parts extremely well, but it really is that outstanding memory system that got her to the top of the line today. A cow that just has so much texture and bayonation throughout. For me, she was just a little higher and wider in the rear udder, and just a little bit more pop to that rear udder that got her over this super long cow that we have in second. Cow in second, just an absolute clean, flat bone cow that's as long as a freight train. A cow that I saw last year as a two-year-old in a local challenge and I must say I'm really impressed with the way she's developed into a three-year-old. A cow that just has that beautiful bone, that beautiful openness of rib and a really welded on fore udder. And it probably was that welded on fore udder and just the overall width of rear udder that got her over a cow in second, uh, in third. This cow in third, out of a 900 cow herd in Tasmania, and at first when we walked into the yard she was a little uneasy but once she really started to settle down and allowed us to have a look at her I really started to really like this cow. A cow that just has that great openness and springer rib but it was that overall shape of udder, just height and width of rear udder, that ligament down through the centre of the rear udder and just the way she walks around that udder and blends in with the fore udder onto the body wall that got her over the super dairy cow that we have in fourth. A fourth place cow, probably a slightly different style of cow than my first three, but I really love that overall dairiness bone and dairiness character right throughout. She has that great angle of rib and certainly an absolute milk machine, carrying an exceptionally well attached memory system. She's so high and wide in that rear udder and really does have a welded on fore udder. And a cow that, yeah, another day, another judge certainly could have got higher up the class, but certainly four outstanding.